Hey, it's October 22nd, Saturday. It's a beautiful day outside. I've been listening to the news and just hearing a lot of negative news about real estate, that it's going to go down 35%, that the market is dead, nothing's happening. So I did go and look at how many open houses there were uh, this weekend, and there are tons. So I think we're going to go out into the marketplace, talk to some of the listing agents, and get their opinion on what they see. While there's a lot softer market, the volume's down, prices are up nationally, and let's see what's happening here in Folsom and El Dorado Hills. Come on, let's check it out. What I'm seeing in Folsom is people still, as always, need homes. There's always a market for people to buy and sell homes. And we're still seeing many people moving out of state. Mm -hmm. But uh, I've been selling homes in Folsom for over for nearly 25 years now. Yeah. And we're still seeing, we're staying busy. We have been doing this uh, for over eight years. And what we've seen in El Dorado Hills and exclusively Folsom as well, is we are seasonal here. We do see drops in fall, we do see some drops in July, but for the most part, we do not see interest um, rates affecting the value of your home as much as we have heard. Of course, again, the 35%. We see that maybe half of that. Right now, if you are interested in buying, I always say it's the right time to buy. Once you're ready to buy, it's the right time to buy. And you have to just find out what your budget is with your lender, with that interest rate, and make the move. Uh, it's pretty tough for buyers. You know, they've got uh, prices still staying pretty high, rates higher than anybody's seen for a long time, and limited supply to look at. So I would say uh, buyers are in for a tough ride. Right now we're heading to the holidays, so sellers might be interested in, you know, more concessions, helping buy down a rate, that kind of thing. The biggest, you know, uh, kind of joke is the best time to buy a house was five years ago. And that's, that's certainly true, because everybody that's, that's waited that I know has regretted it. So renting, it certainly has its place, but as far as a long-term solution, I don't see it benefiting anybody except the property. Owner. Um, at the Moore Real Estate team, we are killing it right now. Last month, we had our best month ever, and we are seeing buyers and sellers still buying and selling. I really think in California, home prices are going to stay where they're at. I don't see them dipping down, and we still have tons of buyers and sellers. Rent is so expensive right now, and you're giving 100% to the landlord instead of buying a home, and you're gonna be making equity every year, so why not? We still are seeing tons of buyers. I just listed a house, and I have two offers coming in today. And right now, the market, I think it's heading uh, a little bit in the positive direction. We're starting to see better signs of a little more inventory on the market, more serious buyers uh, out and about in open houses. And uh, some of the deals that we're getting through are either all cash or they're putting substantial amount of money down. So I think as soon as we start seeing signs of maybe interest rates uh, loosening a little, either a quarter percent, half a percent, I think our market is going to spike up and we're going to see a little bit of a change. And I think why we're seeing homes being absorbed right now is because at least people can. They're afraid that if interest rates do drop, then uh, it's going to be hard to either work a little bit of a better deal or secure a home just because of the competition.